Well, welcome to Mossman. We uh, left Cairns Coconut um, Caravan Park yesterday and we headed up the Captain Cook Highway all the way along the Ocean Road, as you would have just seen. How epic is it? It's probably Queensland's best ocean drive, in my opinion. Anyway, we are in Mossman, actually just north of, north of Mossman, at a little place called uh, Riverside camp i think it is i'll drop i'll drop it in there if i get it wrong <laughs> anyway it is a beautiful little spot and we have the whole place to ourselves which is freaking amazing and uh we've got the car here got the van and uh we're traveling again with um our friends mark and leanne who you met uh when we did the sky swing um from trip and play so their car and van but other than us and them that's it we're the only ones here so i'm going to spin you around in a second and show you how our vans are pointing and what we're pointing at because i don't know it's pretty fucking special you ready check that shit out unreal <laughs> and i'm going to show you our creek that we have all to ourselves to go for a swim so this place is uh 20 20 dollars a night i think it is per person and five dollars for kids so for us family of four uh it's 50 bucks a night to stay here um which is a little bit exy but uh there's no power and water but they do have some water up at the sheds up the top and they do have a toilet and a shower up the top as well we found out yesterday the owner come down but have a go at our creek, guys. So, it's running. Say hello. hello. <laughs> so, it's um, running beautiful, fresh water. It is nice and cold. It's almost as cold as Crystal Cascades, actually. And, um, you know, it's not a massive swimming hole, but there's more than enough to lay in. Have a go at it. How thick that, beautiful and fresh. A bit deeper of a hole here. And um, trust me, yesterday it was about 33 degrees and uh, that was a very nice place to be. So the kids were down there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but down there there's a uh, they've swing that they've set up in the tree. The kids were swinging down there, playing. They're playing over here on this log, making bloody clay. Just being kids, um, there is limited phone reception here. It's probably the only downside, but it's good. It's forced us to have a bit of a technology-free weekend. Currently, today, it's Saturday, and um, we're about to head up to um, up to the Lion's Den via the Bloomfield track. So you're going to see that um, footage very soon. But um, we're also going to go and check out Mossman Gorge. So... If you haven't been up to North Queensland and seen Mossman Gorge, you wait till you see that. That's going to be mint. Anyway, that's a little bit about where we are. And, um, I don't know. I'm pretty bloody happy with the spot. This is a fairly new place. Um, as you can see, this bit's just been fixed. It's only been open a few months. But, um, I think it'll be pretty popular. I got it wrong, apparently. The name of this place. No, not the name, the cost. You said twenty dollars. Yep. No, it's forty dollars for a couple and five dollars for kids over four, so it's costing us fifty a night. Oh, so I got it right. Twenty dollars an adult. Oh, twenty dollars an adult. Yeah. I and five dollars a kid. I thought you said twenty dollars a couple. <laughs> no. So anyway, that's us. Stay with us. We're going to go and hit the Bloomfield track, check out the Lions Den, have lunch up there, and then come back and try and catch the uh, Mossman Gorge in the afternoon, depending on how everyone's feeling. Anyway, let's go.
pumping town, Daintree yeah. Village. <laughs> One street town. Anyway, we just saw we'd come for a quick drive, have a quick look at the Daintree Village, and um, then we're gonna head back out and cross and go into Cape Tribulation. So, but I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go and get something to eat, hopefully. Let's go and have a look. River about to head over to Cape Tribulation. It's um, now $39 um, return to get across the 150 meter stretch of river, which is up there, but this place got demolished in the floods a few years ago. So um, it is what it is. Yeah. And it's worth it, as you'll see. Very soon. Oh, that's a prawn. Look, that's a decent prawn. There you go. <laughs> That's a prawn. Would you like it? Just... Uh, Alright, so while we're waiting at the dang tree, as you just said, one of the locals has just been out fishing, caught these big bad boys. Check, <laughs> Check them, out. them out. They're big prawns. <laughs> what are you doing, girls? <laughs> Dealing prawns before we get on the ferry. The ferry's coming, hurry up. I know. <laughs> just quickly demolished a couple of local prawns. Thanks, so nice. And um, <laughs> we're just, uh, we just boarded the ferry and um, just about to head across the Cape Tribulation. Wait till you see this lookout. It's a pretty specky oh, lookout. Yeah. The day is a bit overcast, so it's probably not going to be awesome, but it'll still be awesome, but it won't be awesome awesome. <laughs> but anyway, we're on the ferry. She's filling up. Let's go and have a look, eh? We are just about to get off the
guys. Well, it's pack up day again. It's time to move just down at the creek. Get my last little bit of last little fix of a freshwater stream before we head back to a caravan park up in Atherton, up in the tablelands up the back of Can. So it's been a pretty um, pretty nice little spot. Highly recommend this little uh, this little camp. It's been um, nice and quiet. We've had the whole place to ourselves, which has been great. And uh, we went for a drive yesterday, as you've seen, up to the Lion's Den. Uh, didn't get a heap of content up there. It was super busy, and um, to be honest, I sort of got a bit, <laughs> a bit overwhelmed with being up there and checking everything out. I sort of forgot to get all the cameras out. So anyway, it was an awesome spot. If you haven't been to the Lion's Den, definitely go and check that out. There's a heap of history in there and um, a heap of stuff on the walls, and it's a pretty unique sort of little traveler's pub. So... Um, yeah, today we're just going to pack up slowly. Um, you might be able to see the vans just up the top there. And um, yeah, pack up slowly. And we've got about an hour and a half hour, 45 minute drive from here over to Atherton. Uh, I think we're staying at the NRMA Big Four up there, which is going to be sick. And that's going to be our base for the next probably, I don't know, three or four days. Um, we're going to go and do the waterfall circuit, show you guys some wicked waterfalls up in, uh, up in the Tablelands. We're also going to go and check out Coranda, and we're also going to go and check out a place called Davies Creek. Now, when I used to be, uh, when we used to live up here, Davies Creek used to be another go-to. So you would have seen our other favourite spot up here was Crystal Cascades. Well, Davies Creek was the next one. It was it's an awesome place um, to go and check out as well. So plenty more to plenty more to see, and uh, we're going to go and see that soon. So stay tuned. Hope you're enjoying um, enjoying the episode so far.